Site backups are pretty damn boring. I mean, there's no way to make them super exciting because the only time when you're going to be interested in your backup is when something has gone wrong. Maybe you're relying on an email marketing tool and suddenly you realize all of your submissions have disappeared or your favorite plugin, page builder or theme, there's an update and it crashes out your website. You find that you're locked out of WP admin as well. Epic, epic. Fail. Or worst case scenario, you find out your host provider and data centers caught fire, imploded, and all of the backups and information is lost forever. The list of things that can break your website are pretty endless, and the only way that you can sometimes put it all back together is to rely on a reliable backup. So my question to you is what makes a backup reliable? Number one, backups should never fail. But they do. A lot. In fact, a shocking number of backups will fail. Don't believe me? Go and do a search in your favorite search engine for WordPress backup fails and just look at all of the comments and forums where people are commenting on reliable systems that they were told were the bee's knees they really needed to restore from a backup or get their website back up and running found themselves lost in the wilderness. They just could not sort it out. Don't always expect the backup team to kind of have your back. Oh. Have your back, have your backup, back, they won't always be there to help you out. Not only should your backups not fail, but the worst feeling, and I've been there before and with clients in the past, I mean, come on, go back 20 years ago when a lot of people weren't always relying on backups. The minute your website went down, you were rushing around to try and restore it. But the worst thing is that when you really do need to restore, like you've got an e-commerce shop, you've got orders, or maybe this is your lead magnet with potential customers and businesses out there, you can't restore. There are many reasons when a backup can fail. But one of the common ones I hear about quite a lot is when someone is building a website, they keep doing like a daily or a weekly or an hourly backup. And because their website's quite big, they're eating into their storage space. One person once had a website that was about 300 megabytes in size. And they kept taking a daily backup, but they weren't getting rid of the old backups. Eventually, their website got to 10 gigabytes in terms of the WordPress backend so that when they did need to restore, it just fell over. It couldn't handle it because the backup was like a backup of a backup of a backup of a backup. So if there's one thing you take away from what I'm talking about today is go and check the size of your website and your backend WordPress, okay? Because if you can ensure that it does not get too big, it might save you later on. And before anyone goes, yeah, but my website's got 5,000 WordPress posts. No, that won't be the underlying reason when I say your website's too big. If you've got backups and you're not keeping an eye on how many you have collated into your backend database, you better do that now. But when I say now, I mean, wait until the end of the video, then go and check it out. Now, I want to give you a scenario. What if your website is like 10 gigabytes or a bit more than that? Because it has to be. Maybe you've got lots of stuff on there, lots of blog posts, lots of images, lots of videos, lots of products. There's tons of stuff on there, like it's a legacy website and you don't want to lose things. And even when you're keeping an eye on your backups, it's still over 10 gig. What do you do there? Well, there is a solution for you. Blog Vault can handle websites that are 100 gigabytes in size. Did I just say that right? Like 100 gigabytes, it can handle websites and backend databases that big flawlessly. It's got to be a joke, right? Can't be real. Well, it is real. And that's why Blog Vault is one of my new favorite backup plugins. Another thing about backups is that they can actually slow down your website. So when you are storing a lot of them in the backend, it can affect the speed and performance of your website. Blog Vault don't like to compromise the performance or the speed, so they do incremental backups in the back end. Incremental backups, what does that mean? Let me explain. Let's say you've got a website that's one gigabyte and you do a full on backup. Well, there's another gigabyte there. But what if between this website and when you ran it over here, the only change was one image or a heading? When it does the backup, it incrementally only updates that extra image or that heading, or maybe you added in a post or a page. It doesn't have to do a full blown backup because the only change 
was maybe one or two things. And I don't know about you, but how many websites have we got for clients where there's like zero changes in the last 12 months? In fact, the only thing that's probably changed is the copyright year when we hit January the 1st. Another really important aspect is accessing the backups. Now, I'm not going to mention any by name, but there are some backup services out there where you've got to go and log into another separate account. But what if like the person who set up the backup wasn't you, it was another administrator or someone else. And when you really need it, you can't get it or you've got to go via the host provider. But what if the problem with your backup and your website is actually linked to your host provider? So you can't even get through to them, let alone get the restoration back onto your website. Basically, you're scuppered. That means buggered. That also translates to you are in trouble. And yeah, I know you're going to say, but my host provider stores my backup on a separate server. So I've got my website here and got my backups over here. But if their entire data center has like an issue, that's going to affect all of the servers, right? Don't care if you've got a hundred servers, okay? There's a data center breach. Everything will come down. I'm not trying to scare you, by the way, okay? Please don't watch this video going, oh my God, doom and gloom, worst case scenario. No, I'm just trying to address the fact that I hear this a lot. With a lot of people, they got a website, they love it, but backups was like the last thing on their mind. No, it needs to be a priority. What I found out about Blogfold is that they store the backups off site. In fact, they keep multiple copies all around the world. So you're going to be so much more protected than just having different servers that are all connected to the same data center. I remember speaking to someone a while ago where they were restoring their backup from Jetpack. It was a two gigabyte website and it took over 48 hours to restore. Now, I'm not gonna say that every backup solution out there takes that long, but in reality, you want your backup to be really, really quick, like minutes. So when your website crashes and it goes down, you do not want to delay it. The worst thing is that you wake up and you find out, look, it's happened to me, okay? You trundle out of bed, you see your email, and maybe a couple of people have said, hey, your website's down or it's not accessible. And then you find out it was down for like six hours. At that point, you're rushing to get it restored. And what you don't want to do is kind of going through your host provider, going to your website, can't find the restore file. And even when you do activate it, you sit there waiting and waiting. And the number of emails where people are telling you that your website is down just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Blog Vault can help you out here where it can get your website back up in literally minutes. And one of the little neat things they do is that maybe you're going to restore the file, but you only want to restore certain themes or plugins because maybe there was an underlying plugin or just something about back end of your website that caused the problem to occur in the first place. And the other neat thing is that you can do a test restore as well. So you can restore it, check everything's okay before you push to the live site. Most restorations you restore and if there was an underlying problem, it just kind of reactivates itself again. But Blogfault has thought about this and that's something I've got to give them a huge amount of credit for. The word backup comes with the word reliable and that is exactly what Blogvault do for you. Now, I'm not telling you to rush out and go and start using Blogvault or sign up for them because a lot of your web hostings will offer a free solution and there are other plugins out there and I would always say Go and have a go and have a look at them. But if you're after real reliability in all circumstances, then I strongly recommend that you go and invest in a service like Blogvault. I got three words for you. Robust, reliable backups. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll keep seeing you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.